Identifying Memory Corruption Vulnerabilities Let's review the following code snippet illustrating both a use-after-free memory corruption bug and a double-free memory corruption bug in C++. We first declare a class called thing on lines 4 through 11. This class contains a method called sayHello, which simply prints the string literal hello to std out as shown on lines 8 through 10. We then proceed to use this class by allocating it on the heap as shown on line number 14. And then we immediately deallocate that memory via the delete keyboard as shown on line number 15. Line number 17 is a comment indicating that, had this been a real application, we would have interacted with user-supplied data via the argv variable. Afterward, we invoke the say hello method of the thing object on line number 18 and then delete our reference to thing on line number 20. The first memory corruption bug you may have noticed was the use after free. We deleted our reference to thing on line number 15, but then used it later on line number 18. The variable thing was referencing a chunk of memory that was no longer in a valid state, likely resulting in a segmentation fault. The second memory corruption bug you may have noticed was the double free. We first deallocated thing on line number 15, and then deallocated thing again on line number 20. In both cases, we have what are known as dangling pointers. The thing variable and an internal pointer within the internal heap structure of the operating system continue to point to memory that was freed and no longer valid. These are definitely bugs leading to undefined behavior, most often a segmentation fault. However, whether or not these result in exploitable vulnerabilities depends on line number 17. The vulnerable application would need to allocate additional memory using attacker-controlled data from ARGV, thereby giving an attacker the opportunity to overwrite segments of memory that are referenced by dangling pointers. If those dangling pointers are reused in such a way to influence program execution, then an attacker can overwrite memory referenced by those pointers in an attempt to execute arbitrary code. While not all memory corruption bugs are exploitable, we should assume such and respond accordingly.